Today we're talking about five different gimbal movements you can use for car videos. For all these movements, make sure you lock your gimbal and you're shooting in pan follow mode. To lock your gimbal, just hold the trigger button on the back of your gimbal. The first movement is a side to side movement. A side to side movement is such a simple and clean movement and it's great when you want to reveal a subject. The second movement is a rise up. I use this movement a lot when I need to reveal a subject starting very close to the ground. The third gimbal movement is a steady push in or a pull back. Now to make the steady push in movement look good, it needs to be a very long movement. So make sure you start very far back away from your subject and then you start pushing in towards the subject. The pull back is just the push in in reverse. Now the fourth gimbal movement is an orb. For this movement, you need to pan across with the analog stick on your gimbal to the left or the right, while also moving side to side. Now the fifth gimbal movement is a tilt up or a tilt down. I find this movement works best when you want to follow the shape of the car. You can see in this RX-7 clip that I actually start above the spoiler and then I follow the shape of the car down while also tilting up on my analog stick. Now enjoy the rest of the footage from the Mazda RX-7 video.
Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more photography and videography content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.